Hi kindergartners, we continue to work on T numbers and believe it or not, there's only one T number left. So the last T number we're going to learn about is the number 19. So to get started, we're going to practice counting all the way up to 19. Please count with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Excellent. All right, so we're going to talk about 19. What is 19? Well, before we start with that, make sure you have your 10 frame. You should have your 10 frame. And today you need at least 19 objects to use as counters so that you can help us figure out what is 19. So make sure you have those things so that you are ready to learn. Excellent. So. We know that our T numbers are a group of 10 and then some more. So I'm going to start by filling in my 10 frame. Right now it's empty. So you need to use your objects and fill in your 10 frame as I'm filling in my 10 frame with my counters. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I have a full 10 frame. So when our 10 frame is full, we know we have a group of 10. So here we have a group of 10. But we're not talking about 10 today. We're talking about 19. And I bet some of you might be able to figure out how many more we need to get from 10 to 19. Think about that. Hmm. And we're going to use our number line to help us figure out. So we're going to start at 10 because we have our group of 10. How many more do we need to get to 19? Let's see, here we go. So we're at 10, then we add 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So now I have 19. So I added nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I know that 19 is a group of 10 and nine more. So I'm going to draw nine counters. As I'm doing that, I want you to take your objects that you're using as counters and to put them next to the 10 frame, just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Whew, that's a lot of counters. We have our group of 10 and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more. So now we can answer that question. What is 19? 19 is a group of 10 and nine more. Let's make our number sentence. 19 equals a group of 10 plus nine more. Let's read that number sentence. Here we go. 19 equals 10 plus 9. Let's practice it one more time. 19 equals 10 plus 9. Excellent. So now you can answer that question, what is 19? So I would like you to make sure that you copy that number sentence. You wrote it down. Take a picture of it. And I want you to send it to your teacher so that your teacher can see that you know what 19 is. All right, I have one more thing that I want us to do today. I'm going to write our numbers that we've been practicing all week down just to make sure that we haven't forgotten any of them. All right, so as I write the numbers down, I want you to say out loud what number I'm writing. And I'm going to kind of put them all over, not in a special order, and I'll show you why. All right, so as I write the number down, you at home say the number. All right. What's that number? 11, good, okay. What's that one? 12, excellent. Okay, what is that number? 13, perfect. And here we have 14, over here is 15, uh, let's do 
16. What's that one? 17. There is 18. And today's number was 19. All right. So now I'm going to play a little game. I'm going to point to the number, and you have to say out loud what number I'm pointing to. Are you ready? Here we go. 16. All right, next one. 13. Great. All right, how about this one? 19. 15. 11. Good. 12, 17, 18, 16, 15. Excellent. So here's a suggestion for you. I want you to write all of these numbers down on little note cards or pieces of paper. You can have somebody in your family help you and you can make flashcards so that you can practice all of your team numbers so that you can become experts at team numbers. Okay, friends, thanks for learning with me today and I'll see you soon, bye.